the beams that broke the sky. There's a war above our heads, and most still don't see it. We now have multiple recorded incidents of laser-like beams striking the sun, not just once, and it's not random. Precision-directed energy. In each case, these beams appear either just before or in the exact sequence with violent solar eruptions, massive flares and coronal ejections that reshape our magnetosphere and send shock waves through Earth's electromagnetic environment. Let me be clear, what we are watching is the sun being targeted. This is not a metaphor and it's not a theory. We have this on video. Technologically induced solar flares. In the most recent June 2025 footage, a beam fires southward followed by a massive solar explosion from the northern limb. And we've seen this before from the May 2024 solar storms being targeted with lasers. June 11th, 2013, another set of beams recorded in the same position. In all cases, the pattern is precise, directional, and consistent, matching characteristics of time-reverse scalar energy weapons, not natural phenomena. So who's up there near the sun? Satellites, probes, defense platforms, Parker Solar Probe with a design eerily similar to Nexrad and SBX radar systems, and it just happens to be in a prime position each time. So did active HARP and other ionospheric facilities here on Earth. The sky is not natural anymore. From Alaska to Mexico, we are seeing artificial auroras, but these aren't the flowing ribbons of ionospheric joy we once knew. These are digitally textured, color shifted, and emotionally disorienting. Vivid greens and violence replaced by cyberpunk reds, pinks, blues, often geometrically impossible structures. This is what happens when Harp, Super Darn, and Icecat inject energy into Earth's ionosphere and twist Earth's electronic shell for experimental purposes. We have the images, we've seen the radar returns, these are not natural auroras. Blocking the sun and the moon on purpose. They call it solar radiation management, they call it stratospheric aerosol injection, but you and I know what it is. They're blocking out the sun. They spray the skies daily with metallic particulates, aluminum, barium, lithium, strontium, and so much more under the guise of cooling the planet. But what it really does is dim the sunlight, suppress vitamin D, interfere with plant photosynthesis, and cloud our perception. And it doesn't just stop there. The moonlight is also being dimmed, hidden by veils of aerosols just like the sun, and the timing of this aligns with a disturbing rise in blood moons, tampered eclipses, and unexplained lunar anomalies. What happens when you cut a species off from its celestial rhythms? You break its mind, you lower its vibration, and you disconnect it from source. Gwen Towers, 5G, and the Electromagnetic Straitjacket Gwen Towers, 5G transmitters, space-based electromagnetic fields. It's not just about radiation anymore. It's about overriding the natural frequencies of life itself. These towers disrupt the Earth's ionosphere cavity, where our brainwaves and our body fields evolved. This isn't just bad for the bees. It's killing the human soul by degrees, one hertz at a time. And we feel it in such ways as disorientation, memory loss, emotional flattening, a sense that we are not quite ourselves anymore. Information warfare and the collapse of meaning. As all this happens above our heads, the war on the ground intensifies. Psychological operations flood every screen, and truth becomes indistinguishable from fiction. Riots, proxy wars, stage crises, endless chaos. And while they divide us, entertain us, and medicate us, the bees vanish. A dying world. I live on a pond surrounded by trees and wildflowers. It should be alive with the sound of buzzing, humming, fluttering, but it's silent. The bees are gone. The flowers bloom and wilt in vain. The trees, I swear to you, they weep. Everything around us is fading and still most look the other way. This is the sixth mass extinction. This is not a warning, it's a declaration. We are living through the sixth mass extinction, but this time it's not natural. It's a convergence of technogenic solar manipulation, atmospheric geoengineering, 
artificial electromagnetic interference and intentional spiritual and biological disconnection. This is the Great Reset, and its true aim is not just economic, it's existential. Is anyone paying attention? Can you see what's happening? Can you feel it? If not now, when? Because soon there may be no more bees, no more moon, no more light, only static, only fog, only control. And those of us who refuse to look away will remember what the sky used to look like. Okay, sky watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.